just so you know. Um, I did figure skate when I was a kid, and I wanted to be Michelle Kwan, and so everyone thought it was so funny to be like, oh, you're Michelle Kwan. I was like, haha, I'm still not. Anyway, so um, I've been standing in the back all day, so I'm going to make you stand also as well, because you've been sitting all day. So you guys are going to stand up for these games. Sorry, I just stepped on somebody's water. Um, so this one is one that you can play with your students. Um, I like to call it active, would you rather? Um, it's where you can kind of like give your creativity a go. All right, so I'm going to ask you a few of my favorite would you rather questions, uh, and you are going to walk towards the side of the room that you agree with. Okay, so uh, we'll start with like an easy one. There's a correct answer to this. Um, yes, this is the center. So we'll go, um, this side of the room says uh, cake, and this side of the room says ice cream. Which do you prefer, cake or ice cream? Oh, ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. The answer is ice cream, people. What are you doing? Cake people over here. Lactose intolerant people over here. <laughs> Fine, I guess that's okay. That means that all of you are probably gluten intolerant, whatever. And then from the stage or from wherever, if you're loud, stand on a chair, because I have to because I'm like six, like six inches tall. You have to say, you'll just shout out a number. Your kids have to get into a group with that number. If they don't get into a group with that number, then they're out, okay? So like, I would say 15. So you need to get a group of 15. Go. there's only four of you. What would you bring to a desert island? Mostly 
girls. You know the like down by the banks game that you have to like clap your hands? It's the worst game ever. Okay, none of you. That's great. So here's how that game works. You be have your students sit in a circle, you put your hands out like this. Your right hand should be on top of the person next to you's left hand. That's you can pull it on the strider bus, but that's okay. So here's how this game goes, okay? The down by the banks game. Uh, you will say the person, so your right hand is on top. Here's, right? Yeah, Josh, yep, you got it, you got it. Either way, you're saying the name of the person whose hand that you're slapping, okay? So you'll go around in a circle, you'll say that person's name. And then, you'll get creative, because I can't remember someone's name just by saying it once. So then you can be like, okay, now we're gonna say each other's names like a mouse. And that will be like, this, or something like that, right? And then you can say it in your best man voice. So that would be something like, this. Or uh, you can say it in a British accent, like, West. I don't know. Okay, so that's a good way to learn people's names. Last one. Uh, I'm going to make this table come up here because you're doing a great job. Here are the six of you. Come stand up here. Josh isn't paying attention. Here are the six of you. Come stand up here. It'll be fine. Second really great way to learn a student's names, you three face that way, you three face that way. So, uh, you can divide your students into two groups, have them face away from each other. They are going to choose one person to turn around and face the other team. Then, the people who are turned around have to say each other's names. Whoever loses joins the other team, and then you go until you have one team left. Make sense? Probably not. Here's how it works. I'm going to count to three, and one of you is going to turn around. Got it? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three! <laughs> so Lacey is joining this team. Are you ready? One, two, three, go! <laughs> Excellent work. All right, give these guys a hand. Thanks for it. Okay. Five games, five less than 12 minutes this time. And hopefully you have the chance to uh, learn a whole bunch of students' names. Those are good ones to kick off your small group, too, because I struggle with names <laughs> a lot of times. So hopefully you have the chance to do games, some of these events, do games with a purpose and uh, make your students know that like, hey, I care about you. Um, once you have the opportunity to say like, hey, I really care about you, now I want to tell you about this Jesus thing because he's pretty awesome. So, yay, five games, almost five minutes.